hey guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be showing you all the full process on how i experiment with my style and also how i improve my style because i was very pleased with this piece and i don't know if you noticed by the thumbnail but this is not usually what i make so i decided not to cut anything out you guys are going to see the full process from beginning to the end i just didn't screen record the sketch process because then this video would have been entirely too long but if that's something that you guys are interested in seeing let me know and i'll know to include that next time but if you want to see the end products or how i get to it stay tuned so my main goal since becoming a artist i guess but more along the digital aspect is to try and be as realistic as possible but also keeping that artsy kind of feel to it that's always been a balance that i've struggled with greatly and one of the things that i struggle the most with is line art i don't know which pieces feel right with it which pieces feel wrong with it and more times than not i end up um really abandoning the piece because if i can't get the line art right then i don't want to do the whole thing in general so but this time as you guys are going to see, I did several attempts to do the line art before I said, you know, I'm just not going to do line art. And what I did was I changed the layer to multiply, but then I ended up changing it back to normal. But the trick is when you want a lineless kind of piece is to color whatever layer is going to set the outer boundary for what you're drawing. So say, for instance, if you want to draw something yellow, you'd want to put either a darker yellow or an orange depending on what the general area is gonna look like. So as you guys will see, I'm gonna change that up a lot. I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes. It's gonna look weird at a certain point in time, but you're gonna reach a part of that video where it actually starts to come together. And I'm so happy. Another thing that I really like about this piece that honestly I didn't think I was going to accomplish is the texture in it. I know you guys can't zoom in, but if you guys go to my Instagram or even go on my website and you look at the stickers or you look at the poster, you're going to see that paintbrush feel to it, that, that texture. And honestly, I didn't know how I was going to do it at first, but I knew that I wanted it done. So the first thing that I did was I tried to actually paint with the brush and because of the properties of that specific brush that I was trying to use, it wasn't coming out right and I was getting frustrated. So I decided to step out of my comfort zone and switch it up a little bit. So what I did was instead of painting directly with the brush setting, like with the actual brush brush, I used a rounder brush and then I blend it with a textured brush and that gave me such a difference and I took off from there and as you guys can see the texture that it gives it it surprisingly looked like skin without me having to make it look like skin and I was so happy with that because I did not expect to go off like I didn't. You can't tell me I didn't go off. I think I deserve a like for going off. Have you liked yet? Have you subscribed yet? Why haven't you subscribed yet? But anyway, um, yeah, in order to get this texture, I definitely had to blend with a textured brush. So if you're looking to spice up your art a little bit more, experiment. That's all I can say, experiment. Try different brushes, try different colors, try different settings in, in the layer. You honestly have to go outside of the norm to grow. You, you have to be repetitive in terms of practice and you have to practice certain principles in order to master it. But if you don't try new things, you'll never grow as an artist. And that's all I'm gonna say. I ain't, I ain't telling you what to do, but you need to do it.
Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed I'm a little bit more energetic because I really like how this video came out and I want to get into more specific videos on how I do certain things. I just need a little bit more practice so I can be able to explain it to you guys, but I need my comment section like popping right now. So if you have any questions on how I did anything, drop that in the comment section and let me know. If you want a tutorial, I don't care if it's gonna be a two minute tutorial, like let me know. I am here to help y'all and I mean, it's my channel, you know, at the end of the day, I get to choose what to post, but I originally created this channel as a safe space for people of color to learn how to draw people of color. And there's certain textures or there's certain skin tones that may not be as talked about as it should be. And it might, I, it, it might take me a minute to come up with a tutorial. Cause like I said, I gotta learn it just like y'all do, but bear with me and we'll learn together. So please use that comment section. Please let me know what I can do to help this channel grow as a whole. And if you like today's content and you'd like some merch, the link will be down in the description. If you don't want to buy anything, liking and subscribing and commenting is free and it helps me out so, so, so much. I thank you guys so much for growing my channel while I was away, but I'm back now and I'm trying to do better. So let's get it. Um, another video coming soon. Stay safe and please wear your mask. Peace.